Moseo. Moseo. Cherokee greeting. Um, this is the third consecutive theme of grasses, plants, and baskets. Uh, grasses are little slender plants that grow from crawly roots and leaves that are kind of feathery. And baskets are made from the stems. Uh, grasses were, have mantled our red earth, sometimes stretching for hundreds of miles in our American prairie and savanna and the pampas and all of that. Yeah, um, home is where the grass grows. Start up here. This is a grass woven mask from Baja, probably Ipai. Like that. You see them down there? They weigh they them. Made up the grass. Okay. And here, down here, this is grass actually from uh, Lake Cuyamaca. Up there. Honest to goodness, grass. And I have that in a, a basket that is a kind of wicker woven sumac that's covered with pine pitch. This is made by Etta Breck in northern Arizona. Uh, it would be for a water, water bottle. And down here, this basket is made of juncus grass. Juncus grass is local here in, in these places. And um, it's a very long spire grass. And it's uh, woven on deer grass. And it's woven by Abe Sanchez, actually, as a gift uh, to Claudia and I. The only two places, as far as the world goes, for juncus grass has only been the Kumeyaay here and the ancient Greeks of the Eastern Mediterranean. Those are the, the two. <clears throat> and here, this tray is a Hopi tray, Pohota, um, really used for sacred offerings of, of cornmeal. And it's woven with um, uh, split yucca leaf over cayeta grass. And this one here is actually a bisparta, bisparto grass. And this is from Morocco. And it's native to Morocco, Morocco <laughs> and southern Spain. That has a real relevance to here. That's why it looks so much alike. Um, Shakespeare's Othello was a moor from Morocco. So you can see the similarity to that. Then that would have a whole story. And this is my uh, shield cover, which I am portraying it as grass with the buffalo who is grazing here. The Plains Grasslands. This extensive territory constituted the western short grass and central mixed grass plains as distinct from the less arid eastern long grass or true prairies. The entire area of the western plains and the eastern prairies, however, extended from Canada in the north to Texas in the south, from the Rocky Mountains in the west and as far as Indiana in the east. This vast and complex area of grassland covered more of North American's Turtle Island than did any other approximately one-fifth of our land's surface. The rich grasses and flowering plants formed the base and source of a great food chain which originated in grasses nourishing the animals. The chain continued with dynamic force and yet with inherent fragility this cycle was to be broken within a short period of only 30 years by you know who. Americans. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> Thank you. The invading, the invaders. The invaders. The invaders. Do you want to do the reference shot now?